So I'm gonna show you my newly printed 3D rocket that is a 38 millimeter uh, size minimum diameter and it's completely 3D, 3D printed. There's only three parts. There's the tail section here, the body section here, and then the nose cone here. All right, so this, this rocket is actually very similar from the 54 millimeter minimum diameter rocket that I've shown you on um, before. Um, it's just, so this is one is just a little bit scaled down. It has some newer attributes that I'm gonna show you. So first of all, the nose cone, I, uh, it has my uh, recovery eBay cartridge in here. So the eBay houses the altimeter. Now this one here, um, I'm using a new altimeter that I actually won in a rocket contest. And it's the Easy Mini. So it's very small. And normally I put other altimeters here that are much bigger, but this one's really small. It's also operates at a different frequency. This is a 433 megahertz uh, operational frequency for the telemetry. And uh, so it gives you uh, telemetry and altitude. Uh, and it also uh, can provide uh, dual ejection charges for dual deployment. And then the nose cone is 3D printed and I machined this aluminum nose tip just for the fun of it. Um, this rocket can use motors all the way from uh, like a two grain motor like this here uh, in 38 millimeter to, you know, this is a three grain. It can use three grains up to six grains. Um, so it goes from G size motors up to uh, J size motors. The nose cone, I have this one here, which is 3D printed with the aluminum tip. This is the same thing, but no aluminum tip. So it's just uh, PLA. Everything's printed in PLA. And then this here is a PLA printed nose cone, but has been finished. It's been sanded and smoothed with a with a, uh, a putty and then paint it. So it's very perfectly smooth. This is like glossy smooth. So anyway, I have three different nose cones to experiment with. As far as, and then back to the rocket, it, so there's only two parts here. This is the body tube that unscrews, much like all my other rockets, including the bigger one behind me here. Um, and then inside there's a draw bar that has a eye ring on it um, that holds the motor in place and so if I unscrew this the motor comes out like this and this is a four grain motor casing um, but I also have you know, you put up to a six grain in here so that's how the motor's held in. There's a, a big heavy duty um, motor mount tube here, which is designed to um, give insulation from the motor. They can get very hot, especially with long burner motors. Um, and so that insulates it. And then, and so that's about it. This one here, you've seen before, it's the, a bigger brother of everything I do. This is a, a three inch diameter, it uses a three inch K and L size motors. But this one has, you know, a payload section here, an eBay section in right here that you've seen before on some of my YouTube videos that provides uh, dual deployment.